Hey guys and welcome back. I'm Chris Mazzarella and you're watching No Reserve Classic. And before we get started guys, if you haven't done it already, make sure you hit that subscribe button and ring that bell. Cause you never know, your dream ride could be in the next video. And here we have it guys, the 1968 Dodge Charger 440 six pack RT Resto Mod. And this baby is super exquisite. Now, although built in Michigan, this vehicle has lived most of its life in the dry climate of California, as you can tell by the beautiful body lines of this vehicle. As we pop that massive hood, you're gonna see that 440 cubic inch motor that is fully built up. On top of that, you're gonna get your six pack with that triple dual carburetor setup. The transmission of this vehicle is an automatic 727 torque flight transmission. And all that power is going through that eight and three quarter inch rear end with posi traction. And as we easily open up the door to this vehicle, you're gonna notice a beautiful, well-restored interior from the carpet to the seats and even the gauge cluster. Two cool features about this charger, power windows and a cranking JVC sound system. And as we're talking about coolness, the exterior of this car, that awesome stance. Up front, we have power steering and power brakes, but what puts it together? The QA1 adjustable shocks up front and a four-link conversion in the rear with coilovers and dual adjustments. This baby is one not to miss, guys, so stay tuned because we're gonna take this baby out on the road. Now, I know you guys can't be with me here today on this beautiful turntable, but if you visit us at No Reserve Classics, you'll be able to take this ride as well as all of our other rides for a virtual 360 degree tour. That's right, with a simple swipe of a finger, you'll be able to view the beautiful exterior of this car. And after you're done with that, hop over to the inside for another 360 degree virtual tour. And if you guys have any questions on how to get this resto mod into your garage, feel free to give me a call, Chris at 1-800-562-7815 and I'll be sure to guide you through the full process. All right guys, I got the keys, put them right in the ignition here, turn this baby on and see what this baby's all about. Oh man, I'm excited. Oh man, that baby's starting right up. Ho oh, ho, you hear that? Oh man, all right guys, Hop inside and let's take this piece of history for a ride. All right guys, and here we are in this 68 Charger and I will tell you if this car doesn't bring a smile to your face, I don't know what will. With super iconic background of this car, the 68 Charger baby, it's been in Bullet, it's been in Fast and Furious and a number of other movies and TV shows. This car is super great. From the exterior, you have that beautiful black, gorgeous mirror reflective paint on there with awesome chrome accents throughout to this beautiful restored interior with some aftermarket components into it. All right, guys, let's give this baby a little gas and... Whoa, okay. Alright, so that car just downshifted from second back down to first as soon as I hit that accelerator pedal and it did throw my head back quite a bit and I'm so grateful that I have these high bucket seats in here. And what I do like about the seats is how they are two-tone with the perforated leather in there keeping you nice and cool on those hot summer days and the back passengers get to enjoy that as well. So definitely a nice eye appeal when you're looking at any other chargers. As soon as you look into this one, you know something's just a little bit different about it, but it is super comfortable. Now sitting in this seat, this Grant steering wheel, it's a three spoke steering wheel with the wood grain on here. Very nice, it is a good size, it's not too oversized. So if you're gonna take some aggressive turns on here, absolutely good size for that. It's got good grips on the background as well. As we look forward, the beautifully restored gauge panel. Now, we were just driving and we hit some water as we were going. I got my wiper blades, boop, click these babies right on, cleared that right up for me. Now, I did get the pleasure of driving this car actually the other night, and this has four headlights in it. So as soon as you open these headlights up, put the headlights on, the doors open up, you have two outer headlights that work as your low beams. But as soon as you push the foot pedal, you're gonna have those four lights illuminating the road ahead. And I will tell you, 
man, this car looks absolutely gorgeous, not only during the day, but as night as well. So some features in this car that we forget about, modern accessories, modern upgrades. The first one we have is right in front of our face. It is a JVC radio. It's an AM FM radio and it has CDs. So if you do still have some CDs, this baby will play them for you. And all that sound is gonna come right through those two rear speakers in the back, brand new, just installed. And they do have a really nice amount of bass, so it doesn't matter what kind of music you're listening to, these babies got some good sound. All right, guys, we're on a red light and see what this baby's got. All right, green light. Woohoo! All right, we laid down some stripes, baby. Woohoo! This car is so much fun. The other really cool feature in this vehicle are power windows. Now, normally you would have that crank on there giving you a hard time, but these babies are already tinted and super electrified on not only the driver's side, but the passenger side as well. So if somebody comes up next to you, you roll down the window, you put this baby in drive, you slam that gas, and you take these babies right off. And right above those power windows is that ginormous super tack on there. So when you got this baby dialed right up, there's a red knob right here. You can adjust on what you want your launch control to be. You hit that gas, and it's got a clear view of what RPMs you're at in this bad boy. And as you guys notice that beautiful tone of that exhaust, that's because of this built 440 motor. And I will tell you, this baby makes you smile. I'm gonna keep saying it again and again, but you feel great. I mean, the pickup on that motor with all that extra horses that it has to it is just incredible. The 727 transmission in this car is handling its downshifting appropriately. And that eight and three quarter inch rear end is holding all those horses down to the road. Now, one of the helping components of this car or any car, right? You have a high horsepower car, but you want to get that horsepower down to the road and you want to do it efficiently. So what we're going to do is we're going to show you one of the things that makes this car handle really well. Now, I just took a high acceleration on there. We have some bumps we're going over. And as you notice, my body is pretty straight as well as the vehicle. You don't hear any weird quirky sounds. The reason is because just how solid the underbody of this car is. Up front, the suspension components, the torque arms that you have up front controlling that. But what's cool is the QA1 suspension in the front. The QA1 shocks, they are single adjustable. And right now, we just took that turn at 45 miles an hour. No rubbing, no scrubbing. The front suspension is QA1 and it is adjustable. There is a dial on it that helps you adjust the firmness of the front. As we move towards the back of the vehicle, we have the same thing, but we have a four link. So not only do you have a height adjustability on there, but you have a dampness on the rear. We set it up right now for a daily driver. So if you wanted to put this baby a little bit more firm, you can do that with a simple turn of a dial. We're gonna go over some big bumps right now. Let's see how it, all right, okay. I'll tell you what, this seat cushion is really nice. For a vehicle that's over 50 years old, this is great. I do feel super comfortable. I mean, we just went over a huge bump. We're gonna take a nice, really tight turn right now and see how quick this baby sticks to the road. Wow, that was, a, that was really simple. I think I could do this with one hand. I mean, yes, this car does have power steering, but I'm doing this with one hand, very nice. One finger steer on this car, it's really, really nice. And we are in a little bit of a popular area right now for some deer. Whoa! All right, these power brakes are working just as they should. Now they are a disc brake in the front and a drum in the rear. So you do have some available options in the future if you wanted to put a little bit bigger of a brake system on here, just because of how high horsepower this car is. But with the functionality of the suspension, you do have adjustability underneath the vehicle. SSBC is a controller, it's a proportioning control valve to help you with that. So if you did want a little bit firmer of a brake, you could just go under there and it's as simple as turning a dial. And the only thing connecting this car to the road that puts all those suspension components together are those beautifully crafted wheels, those 
US mag wheels are 18 inch in the front and 20 inch in the rear, giving you a super fat tire in the rear, holding all that horsepower down to the road. And putting that package together is the looks, baby. This beautifully super straight charger. I mean, the black paint on it is super gorgeous. The chrome on it is super reflective. And you're gonna notice those RT badges from the front and the rear. Now, although not a real RT, but an RT tribute, I think this is better than it came out of the factory, in my opinion. It looks great. Woo! I feel like I'm Dom Toretto in the uh, Fast and Furious movie, and this baby's gonna pop a wheelie going down with that Supra right next to me. Just a wonderful feeling of this car. It looks great, it feels great. So guys, I'm gonna head back to the barn and tell you guys a little bit more about this awesome 68 440 Dodge Charger. Oh man, guys, this vehicle is so much fun. Driving such an iconic piece of history, not only was this vehicle featured in 1968 movie, The Bullet, but it was also featured in the Fast and Furious. This is where this car, Vin Diesel, put this baby with that huge blower right on the top, making this car super, super iconic. Everybody focuses on this vehicle, and you notice that right from the front end, that enormous grill, letting all that air cool down that 440 cubic inch motor. You'll notice the Charger RT emblem right there and the beautifully crafted chrome on the front. Now behind that grill are the vacuum operated headlights. We did install our Restomata LED high performance headlight package. So no matter if you're driving this car during the day with the headlight doors closed or at night when those babies open right up, they'll shine on the road ahead. But what makes this car really cool is the condition of it. You see all the body lines. You look at the hood right here, super straight. I mean, just take a glimpse from the front all the way to the back. Look how nice those body lines are and how the doors line up. I mean, the stance of this car is absolutely amazing. You'll see the scallops on the hood as well as on the doors. But when you do look at it from the side, one really cool thing, these babies right here, the US mags, they are in a graphite gray with a polished lip, wrapped in those awesome Continental Extreme Contact tires. Now the front rim is an 18 inch in the front and a 20 inch in the rear. With all that power, you need that super wide wheel to hold this baby down to the road. And with so much power, you gotta stop. Disc brakes in the front of this bad boy. Not only disc, but power disc brakes. I mean, this baby is a boat. Let's get a, let's get a look on really how big this car really is. It's hanging off in the front and the back of this vehicle just gleaming. I mean, I, I can't get enough of this car. It's really making me really happy. The paint on this car is awesome. This is a black car. Black cars are very hard to get this type of reflection. I mean, if you bring the camera a little bit closer, look at the reflection. You can clearly make out what things are on the reflection of the hood. The scallops on the front hood and the door. I mean, I could see myself, we could probably take this video, just look at the reflection of this car. Even the chrome going around the side of the car, the mirror, it looks like the mirror's turned around, but it's not, it's actually the chrome. The door, let's take a look, one finger. Closes really nice, let's do that one more time. Wow, this car is really good. And you could tell, like I was saying, the structure of the underbody of this car puts this car in one piece, giving this baby a true aggressive stance. And if you think this car looks cool from the front, wait till it passes you by and you see the backside of this baby. Inverted are the taillights of this vehicle. Normally a normal little halogen light. They've been upgraded to LED, so as soon as you press that brake, super bright lights. But what makes this car really cool is that awesome dual exhaust. You see those big chrome tips over there? Matching all the chrome components on this bad boy, it is a wide rear end. So having this baby looking as classy as the front and the rear was a hard task. But we got it done, baby. Streaming and gleaming. 
So no matter if you see this vehicle at a car show or simply just passing you by, this is one iconic car that the transformation that we've done is definitely noticeable and one car that is definitely a showstopper. Up underneath this enormous hood is that 440 under there. Now that motor is fully built, rods, pistons, crank, everything. It's even port and polished. On top of that, it's got aftermarket aluminum heads with an aluminum Edelbrock intake manifold. On top of that is that six pack. That is that triple dual carburetor setup right on the top. Now keeping that engine cool is the 18 quart radiator with that awesome clutch fan on there. And of course, the aluminum satin black shield on there, making sure all that engine and all that cool air gets to that engine and cools that baby down. With such a high horsepower on there, you need that MSD ignition, giving it that right amount of spark. Now this car does have power steering as well as power brakes, so you do get some modern amenities with this vehicle. But when you pop this engine, you just get a glimpse of how clean and simple it is. One reason is because of the painless wiring harness that is throughout this vehicle from front to back and all the way through the interior of this car, just giving it a clean look. Even on these fender rails right here, you can notate the actual stamp on here, very good condition, very legible, letting everybody know what this car came with and what this car really is. But overall, you pop the hood on this bad boy, whether you're just showing it off to a friend or at a car show. This is one engine compartment to be proud of. And as we sit on the interior of this bad boy, you're gonna notice one simple thing that's a little bit different about this vehicle. Now matching in the front and the rear are these awesome high bucket seats. Now they are preferred in the front as well as the back, keeping not only your butt cool, but your back cool as well on those hot summer days. But let's face it, most of the time we're gonna be sitting in this seat. We got our seat belts over here, our lap belts on this awesome wood grain Grant steering wheel. Ahead of us, we're gonna have all of our factory gauges that are working correctly. They all have been hand tuned and all redone. They all look brand spanking new. All the switches work from the rear defroster to the wipers and even the washers here. We have our flasher button, our panel, and our lighting system here. All working and looking really cool. One really nice feature about this vehicle that we forget is AM and FM radio. Heck, this baby's even got a CD player, and not only that, but it does have an auxiliary jack in the front. So you can crank this baby up, and those back speakers are gonna be screaming, and they have a really good amount of bass. And right on top of that radio is this heat setting right here. So it does work, you put that heat on right there. Yeah, we got our heat blowing. So on these colder winter days, or even on late October night, as soon as that sun gets down and it gets a little colder, you put that baby right on and you got night heat blasting through the whole vehicle. And right below that radio, you're gonna see that 8,000 RPM tack over here by Super Tack. And right below that, you're gonna get your awesome 727 Torque Flight automatic transmission. Looking really nice. Just put that baby in drive, press the metal, and you're on your way. Now, one cool thing about this is you're gonna notice this little knob here on the door panels. It used to have crank windows, but now power. And they're fully tinted already by us, already done. The center console over here, super huge. You can fit a bunch of stuff in there, which is really nice. So no matter who you're going with on the road, this baby does have a lot of storage and definitely a lot of room. I mean, I'm 5'7", about 170 pounds, give or so. And I got a ton of room over here, so no matter your height or your weight, this seat moves closer or further back to give you a, enough leg room. I mean, I'm 5'7", like I said, I can barely touch the pedals. So a, a taller guy will definitely fit in here really nice. But overall, already really well-preserved interior. I mean, the headlights intact and all the lighting's worked. As you notice, as I open the door, all the lights are still on over here. You can turn them off and on. Everything's working and functioning 100%. Really cool looking interior. And just getting a quick glance of the underbody, you can tell just how solid the structure is of the floorboards from front to back on this Charger. Let me tell you, you put this baby up on a lift and you get that toy car appearance. The only thing you see is that notorious huge three inch exhaust. And it is a true dual, which is pretty cool. And you have those awesome dual exhaust tips coming out. But let's face it guys, 
with this kind of car and this heavy weight, you need an awesome suspension. And it starts all the way up front. Connecting everything, you have a front Hellwig sway bar, very thick and very meaty. The shocks on the front, they are QA1 fully adjustable and they do have the special torsion keys on here. What does that mean? That means you're able to adjust your dampness simply by a little tiny knob right on the front shock. The rear is also really well put together with a four link system on there. Now you have that posi traction, you have a lot of power coming out of that motor. You hit that gas pedal and those tire spins. That four link is gonna keep that rear end really steady. And if you didn't like the height on it, it is simply adjustable. It's a coil over system. Get your wrenches in there and lower it and heighten it as well. And it also matches the front. It has that controller on there so you can control your dampness on this vehicle. So no matter if you wanted to take this vehicle out on the track or just some simple cruise nights, it does have power steering. So getting to a tight spot is made very simple and easy. But if you really wanted to put this baby to the test and take it to the tracks and take some really aggressive turns, you got to stop. A lot of these vehicles came with drum brakes all the way around. The front of this vehicle has been converted into the disc setup. So you're able to stop appropriately. So no matter how you drive, this baby definitely checks off all the boxes. And there you guys have it, the 1968 Dodge Charger 440 RT. And this baby is featuring that 440 cubic inch motor with that awesome six pack sitting right on top. The automatic torque flight transmission and that eight and three quarter inch rear end with that posi traction. The super straight, elegant black body on this baby, the beautiful, interior that has been remastered and restored to perfection, the underbody that's super solid with that awesome QA1 suspension and that four link rear. Guys, this is one car not to miss out on. And guys, I'm Chris Mazzarella and you've been watching No Reserve Classics. And if you guys have any questions, feel free to give me a call, Chris, at 1-800-562-7815. And if you guys haven't done it already, make sure you hit that subscribe button because you never know, your dream ride could be in the next video.